Hey everybody, Rodaman here for episode, what is this, 22 of Noah's Ark. Um, so it's been a few days, I want to apologize that there weren't episodes to watch the last few days. I was uh, busy and then when I wanted to upload there was a massive internet outage where I lived and there was no way around that. Um, so a lot of the episodes that you watched before were pre-recorded. Um, I left some comments for people that said, oh, hey, next episode, do this. And I said, yes, but it's a little pre-recorded. So there was a few things that I wanted to do. Uh, one was installing a uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius mod. It's the only mod that I have running right now. But as now you can see, we've got both uh, for all of, well, for the rest of the world that doesn't use Imperial. That will be pretty useful. Uh, immediately, I want to say that I'm going to fix the dromedary problem because that has been mentioned by many different people many different times. Um, I just need to find these dromedaries. Here we go. Three and four. They're out. I'm just going to have to remember to use these pods. I'm just going to put a little stockpile. Oop. Yeah, maybe I'll just put it on one side. Use this pod. Just a little reminder to myself, you know, these dromedaries are going to get promptly slaughtered. Uh, what else? There were some other comments. Oh, another one. Um, making the uh, kibble um, going to drop on the ground. That will be a lot faster. Um, the possibility of double walling the barn and ship. I really ought to do that. What I'm going to do for now uh, is just to draw up uh, plans for it um, and then eventually I'll double it up it's it's obviously gonna require a lot of a lot of effort manpower or whatever human power whatever you want to call it um, well I am very bad at drawing lines here there's some deep water here which is gonna be a bit of a pain to work around um, let's see doesn't need to be perfect for now. They're just plans. When I draw them out, they'll be better. Alright, so what else was I doing? Obviously, I just got a charge lance. Um, it's gonna have to... It's been a while. As, like I said, a lot worse pre-recorded. I'm gonna have to figure out all that I was doing. Trying to figure out who this charge lance was due for. Probably one of the... Oh, maybe Japheth. That will have to work. So I do remember I left off... Um, you know, in a big raid, but also... Uh, putting a lot of work into this kill box. Uh, ultimately, I fully expect that it will be a pretty nasty fight. Defending the, the ship. Uh, this colony is very wealthy, and because of said wealth, um, the fight won't be a small one. It'll be pretty bad, um, and that's fine. It's what we wanted. So as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and start... Bridging this off. I'm not exactly following my my path here. Really bad at outlining a too wide. Uh, I don't know why. Now it's hard to tell because I have plans overlaid with walls. Hmm. That's good enough. Obviously, I'm not going to double wall it in the kill box. That will just have to stand. And, yep, I have marble blocks unsuspended. 
One thing I might want to do is start hauling marble, or queuing up to haul the marble. So let's see. I think I have all the pods selected, and that's 80. So we're getting pretty close. Um, actually, you know what? My worry is we're going to need more space back here. So let's preemptively... Preemptively prep for a larger ship. Um, yeah, my guess is we're going to need some additional pods. Alright, so a bunch of people just got gut worms. Not the most critical thing that I'm going to reply to immediately, but <clears throat> sort of annoying. Uh, looking at some other comments. Um, grow dandelion in the animal zone. That's not a bad idea. Unfortunately for me, at the moment, the animal zone is roofed and covered. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to go about doing that. That's not a bad idea, but I'd rather keep the roof on. Um, what else? So we're mid volcanic winter, which absolutely really doesn't matter to me, given that I've got um, an inside farm, not an outside farm. Um, everyone seems to be productive and working on things, so I'm just going to let them go. Run free. Let's see about the world. So we have this. No, we weren't going to do that, because that's pretty junk rewards. Once again, junk rewards. Don't really need a bionic spine. I wouldn't mind some resurrector serum, things like that, but... These junk rewards, yeah, forget it. Alright, I really need to open up these vents, I just noticed. It's getting pretty hot in that uh, little farm area there. Very, very strange kill box. Honestly, not that efficient, but it's what I've got, so. Oh, we have a thrombo that broke out. So another thing that I obviously need to do is to uh, go to a new biome and set up um, Taming station. Oh, really? Not even sure what broke that. This is not the most expensive thing. Unlike the time I broke my reactor. Alright, come on in, Thumbo. This Thumbo is eating grasses, I'm guessing. There was the idea that maybe the animals are breaking out because they can't find food. So that putting the kibble uh, in the center might be more uh, productive. I don't know if productive is the right word, but sort of a better spot for it. Cranking out that steel, which is good. Have had a shortage. As you can see, we are um, we are additionally. Oh, this shouldn't be a home zone. Yeah, forget that. We still have some walls to put down to protect what's ours. Noah's doing a really good job of building the retaining double walls. Um, we're going to need some uh, wood for the bridges in the next zone. I'll just queue up a tree cut here. I'm not going to prioritize it. I'll just let them do the tree cutting when they see fit. But... Um, 
some of that up. Fortunately, there's a forest fire there. All right, so we already have two empty pods, so I'm just gonna cease the construction of these other pods. I don't think there is a psychic event going on right now. We have uh, Noah Switch helmets. And that tribe is becoming increasingly hostile. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything to them. just how the game works. Oh, that radar got screwed up. Let's go ahead and repair that. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of brink of broken. It used to be that repair and uh, construct were kind of separate, but they really aren't anymore. Um... try to vent some of this additional heat because obviously uh, you know the growth rate it's it's not hurting the growth rate yet it's really hot though but one more thing we could do is uh, move a bunch of the roof area that will assist as well. So it does look like we need um, uranium. I think, yeah, that was uranium. We are kind of, the new turrets that we have uh, require a heck of a lot of uranium to operate and build and repair and the like. Uranium has become um, somewhat of an important resource as a result. So, luckily there is a lot of deep uranium that you can um, that you can mine. That's why I've been finding a lot of uranium on the map, but we do need to mine it. There's of course still the lingering problem of Shem and Seti. Um, not being husband and wife as they are supposed to be and it looks like their opinion of one another has only ever gone down um, it's too bad there's no like love potion starving. No, oh, because of the gut worms. Alright. So we are also doing away with the kill box in the east. Um, primarily because we just don't want anyone going there as a go-to anymore. It will make traveling around everything a little bit more annoying because um, we're not going to have door access to things that we uh, once did but it's a that is a weird growing zone that I didn't mean to put down is a small price to pay in fact what I'll do is I'll marble wall the electricity path as well A lot of construction. I'm 
not just for the boat. I don't think that Noah, well, maybe he will prioritize it. They don't tend to prioritize the deconstruction of anything. bringing bridges. Still hoping that Thrumbo changes its mind. I can't really lure it back that easily anymore without shooting it. And uh, I don't want to do any more damage to it. It already has some permanent injuries. But if I have to, to keep it from zoning out of the map, I will. One thing that occurs to me is that I have really not been... Um, I haven't had the opportunity for uh, Alpha Beavers. Um, and it's been long enough. I'm curious if Alpha Beavers won't spawn due to the difficulty or something. Because it's been a long time. I'm in a forest. There is really no good reason I can think of that I haven't been visited by Alpha Beavers. But if I have to go into the admin console to spawn them, if I have everyone else left, like if I have every other animal imaginable, but no alpha beavers, um, that might be something I do. Because I think sitting around indefinitely for no reason is kind of pointless. Okay, so the new power box, uh, I guess that's kind of a funny name for it, is constructed. Um, they're not overlapping, so it's not a waste of power or whatever. Uh, looks like Noah's now working on the double walls for the farm. And I actually don't need it that wide. Let's go ahead and fix that. Save us a little bit of wood. Gonna have Noah prioritize this stuff. They never seem to like to do the deconstruct. Always with the build, never with the unbuild. And there's a lot of new doors here that I uh, obviously put in and failed to prevent them from doing. So just a reminder to everyone, the reason I have these crazy double walls is some of the raids that will attack me will be sappers and things of that nature, and I don't want to get sapped to death. Um, I don't need the tech core, the hyperweave, glitter is not bad, but they're requesting way too many components. They're offering advanced components though, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't... Maybe that's worth it. Haven't really done the cost-benefit analysis there, but hey, I mean, if we want to crank out a ridiculous amount of components, why not? I won't need the uh, Persona Core, the Tech Core. Alright, I'm just going to let him remove that stuff uh, when the time comes. And another thing I'm going to do is uh, put sort of firewalls um, 
in this area so that if they flood in one spot, they don't have access to all spots. Um, that way I can fight them sort of horizontally. I'm not explaining it well, but let's say they break into a section. I can then load up around that section that got broken into and fight them. Um, or far more easily. And it also stops them from accessing more parts of the base without having to uh, sap their way through or however it might be. Truth be told, I'm kind of expecting some doomsday launching. I'm expect I don't want it, but I'm expecting it. If that makes sense. Don't think anyone wants their base a doomsday launched, but uh, hey, sometimes, uh, sometimes enemies do things you don't want them to do. So, we are using uranium almost as fast as we crank it out, it looks like. Maybe Japheth isn't mining that much? No, he's mining. We just must be using it somewhere. I don't have any frivolous construction projects, so wherever the uh, uranium is heading to, I'm fine with, fine with it. Despite the enormous amount of um, marble blocks that we've been using, um, it hasn't really stopped Noah down. There's so many blocks left to construct with, which is pretty cool. Where's all our uranium going? Looks like we have little gremlins stealing it like they do your socks, right? Alright, we might have enough wood for now. I'm just gonna kill the zone. Okay, so here's the turret we were really waiting on. It's one that we lost in a previous battle. Fixing up some of the power. Not the most interesting of projects, I'll fairly acknowledge, but uh, important ones. So the farm is not cooking. Still a volcanic winter. Of all of the um, climate changing weather effects, volcanic winter is really not that much of a bother. At best, unless you rely all on outdoor farming, at best it's just a nuisance. And I don't really have a uh, outdoor farming society. I think I'm still going to deconstruct that stuff. Okay, we're building some of these firewalls. Put everything with a roof over it. Um, that way, it's far less cleaning. Let's 
very clunky to move around, but uh, safe. That's my chief concern, is security. It's sort of um, the way boats are made. Um, the hulls of boats have these little compartments, so if one floods, they don't all flood. Or at least they used to be. I have no idea if that's true anymore. It probably is. I can't imagine why you'd redesign the wheel, so to speak. Alright, I don't want this externally facing door. We're going to replace that with a wall. I want only the doors... Oh, come on. Let me click. Thank you. The only doors I want to face the outside world are the ones near the kill box, so as to encourage raiders to fight where I want them to be fighting. So, alright. Most of the insulation for the base, the double walls and, and the like, are now done. Which is a big thumbs up. We still need to do the farm. We need to expand the ship. But, I mean, that's a lot of construction. Um, unfortunately, given that I have one... I mean, I have some other constructors, but I really only would want to send Noah for an outpost. I can't build the outpost until this part is done. Um, Alright, what about that item request that we had? Requesting... No, that wasn't... Alright, it's the tribe... 86 components, and they're giving us advanced components, hyperweave, glitter meds, and a persona core. Well, I have 82. I almost have enough. I think part of the reason Japheth is not uh, making more progress on the uranium is he's is always socializing and pacing and the like. Not really working the way he's supposed to be. So not so beautiful home. And we just... You know, I bet a lot of the turrets had uh, low durability and we replaced the barrels and that's where all of our uranium went. Almost certain of it. That thrombo is still on the map, but it is very much almost zoning out. Uh, which makes me think of kiting it back inside. So here, Ham is doing a taming attempt. If this doesn't work, uh, what I'll do is try to drag it back. Um, I'm going to put our current Thrumbo and our Husky in shelter in place. Oh, it fell asleep. God, I really ought to... Oh, we were vomiting. Okay, if he's vomiting... Oh, it's just gut worms. Okay, I was worried about his food poisoning. Because if it was food poisoning, this thrumble could catch me. Come on, get angry. Stupid thrumble. Yo, manhunt me. 
You're gonna die at this rate. I'm starting to think maybe I'll go to rescue it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Wait for it to pass out. Rescue it in time, hopefully. Keep an eye on that, obviously. You know, it might not pass out. Problem is, they're very. I gotta wait until the blood loss is super severe. The consciousness is still at 40%. Alright, I think it's unconscious now. Yep. Okay, I have enough time to rescue it all the way to the farm. But what I'm gonna do is very quickly build the wall that we need. Oh, nice. They are starting pretty much right where I would want them. Uh, so everyone else that's around, let's get defending. I did not mean for these doors to be disconnected. Lancers and Scythers. Where was Shem going? Where is Shem? Here he is. I'm trying to keep these turrets up. Three of you couldn't. Guess I should have checked. I really thought that two charge lances and a plasma longsword wielder would uh, be slightly faster at. Uh... Nah, I was wrong. At least it's a small turret. Alright, so Noah, you were to build this wall right away so that this thrombo can't just waltz off and there's food now for it we're still trying to tame it such a pain in the butt I guess I need to, like, bridge up everything. Ooh, we have bugs. That's a good thing. We might be able to get the uh, insects we are looking for. So, just a reminder, what are we looking for? We are looking for a... Male Spelopede, if one exists, it's possible they're always female. And a female Mega Spider. Let's see, female 
Oh yeah, there are male speleopedes. All right, cool. I think I'm gonna need a backup already. Caravan request. A bunch of shirts. Nah. That's a hard pass. Okay, I really hope that these turrets don't take me out as I'm running to cover. That's a huge non-zero possibility. I'm gonna have Shem purposely stand out front. These insects are just dying. They're not uh, being maimed. These turrets are too strong. Oh, not the chair. You will pay with your green blood or whatever color blood you have. Might even be able to save the chair. So, female speleopede. No. But this is a male mega spider, one that we want at all possible to maim it and not kill it. Kill this thing though, I don't need it for the uh, for the boat. Where's the spider going? Shem and Nama. Nama. Go take a breather. Who's break risk? Oh, Shem. Perfect. Japheth. Go back to mining. So I think it's just this one animal left. In fact, uh, wildlife. They don't show up in wildlife? What? Come on. So, ideally, we would knock this thing out. You know what I need to do? I need to... Oh, it's almost ready to be built. Nope. Oh well. An attempt was made. I'll have to remember for the future that... Um, our turrets are just way too powerful to uh, to lean on. But it could be worse. Alright, were you patched up? You were not. Yeah, but that's the only, only reason I sent you home early patch him up, but I guess I didn't tell you to do it, so I am to blame. You are not. Uh, animals. We have no need to shelter either of them now. I can have them unrestricted. Our wonderful armchair was uh, saved from the evil bugs looking to destroy our base. Ah, oh, this bridge is done. Just gotta get walls there. So, the thrombo might try to eat our crop, but hopefully does not. This thrombo is back on its feet, has one more old gunshot wound. Very much my fault. But at least it's in the shelter now. 
So there's an upside and a downside to everything, right? Don't bust a hole in the shelter. Your kibble's here. Gotta say, for a volcanic winter, it's really not that cold. I know it's in the middle of the uh, summer, but still, I'd expect it to be a little bit colder. So we butchered a bunch of the speleopedes. No idea what, what I'm going to do with the meat. One thing that I'm curious about, it used to be that when you had a um, trade stockpile and you roofed it up all the way, um, it would bust a, a giant hole in your roof when you had an incoming trade. So um, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to cover up that roof um, and see if that is still true. I've been asked that a bunch recently of like, hey, why do you have holes in your stockpile? Um, and it was because that's how it used to work, but it might not might not work that way anymore. And I'm not sure what the answer is, so. I don't have any more wreck variety. I guess Ada can try to call someone. Call exotic goods, try to get a telescope, maybe. Ah, trade caravan, exotic. See if that helps. Um, who's our fastest besides Ham? Shem is fairly fast, and Niall. All right, let's load up. Let's do that trade, right? So what was it? It was 86 components. Niall. Actually, I feel more comfortable sending Shem, even though he should be making the components. Okay, it is slightly too heavy, so we'll load two. Shem. And 86 components. Oh, no, no, I misread. The caravan is too heavy, but the, uh, the pod can hold it. I don't care if you get to mobilized. And bring the pemmican. No, what are you working on? More bridging? That's cool. All right, so Mr. Shem is gonna go visit. We got bulk goods flying overhead. All right, so here's a good test. Uh, so I believe that, yeah, this whole thing has a roof. So it's too much weight, still. All right, guess I'll have to send Niall share the weight. Okay, see this is the bulk goods people. Um, buy components and advanced components. Sell our weird leathers. Hell, even sell the blue fur. We have a lot of hops. I should turn it to beer, but I'm going to sell it. Sell this batch. Because we have need of um, silver. 
were pretty low. Shredded pants. We can part with. All the other clothing is pretty intact. Sell the lamp. We're selling just about everything. Okay, so uh, I wasn't wrong. It basically picked the nearest anywhere. Didn't have a roof. So there is still a reason to have a unroofed section, but it's not the same reason, if that makes sense. It used to be that it would punch a hole. Now it doesn't punch a hole. It just drops it as close to uh, you as it can. The problem with that is it just put my components well outside of the base, a really long walk away, in fact, and uh, unroofed, which is a problem. Uh, Niall, you're supposed to load into a pod, weren't you? Yeah, without the, um, the eastern way to get around the base, it takes a lot of running. Okay, so we're going to go join Shem. No, I'm not giving my NPC to the stupid tribals. Alright, now these guys can start moving. Oh, the thrombo's carrying the rest of this stuff. I like that. Useful thrombo. Right, I've got a marble door. Around. Actually, forbid this for now, just so that the other thrombo can't get out while I punch a hole. I know it's sleeping now, but... It won't be sleeping for long. Ooh, masterwork belt. Well done. And that was Nama, too. Unexpected. Alright, I'm gonna cease the marble blocks. We have plenty to complete this project, I think. These guys will be back in really, really soon. That's good. This is a very big construction project. But it would be pretty tragic if raiders overran the base and destroyed the ship. It would set me back really, truly, almost immeasurably. You know, I would I'd be really set back for a long, long time. We still don't have a huge surplus of uranium. I'm just going to mine this whole section out. Alright, Shem's back. So if we check their gear, if you have their Persona Core, we have some more advanced components. Not a bad haul. We didn't get out to the desert as I had hoped, but... Regardless, I'm pretty happy with what we did manage to do. Just putting some extra roofing here. Getting all sorts of fancy.
Wow, the nearest slag is really not close anymore. Puts a smile on my face. You all probably know why. My great not love for slag. It don't belong in the environment. Let's go tear it out of the environment. Alright, who else can construct? Shem. He doesn't really need to be on components right now. Japheth. I guess I'll have Shem start building with us. Double the speed, almost. It's a very um, cumbersome base to navigate around. Alright, so here's our exotic goods trader. Maybe we can get a telescope. Or something. I don't know. Maybe it will be worth the time. And money. Okay, so we lost a steel auditor here. I'm gonna prioritize that to its highest. Components, advanced components. Uh, they have more hyperweave. I don't know, I'm gonna sell it. I don't really need hyperweave. Um, buy their Glitter World Medicine. Medical tech neuro trainer, why not? Sell our uh, tech core. Soother? Mm, we might still want it. Oh, we have an arm. I forgot about that. I'm gonna buy an eye. And then, oops, sell some gold. To break even. Six hundred gold. Um, Five hundred sixty gold. Close. All right. Uh, they just sent a bulk goods caravan at the same time. That I did not think was possible, so that must be new that they can send two at once. Uh, so who needs medical training? 14, 10, 14, maybe Ada will take this neuro trainer. A lot of broken batteries. So we have well, three people that are almost at 14. That's pretty good. All right, Ada. Here's bulk goods people. Let's go see what they want. Um, don't need any of that. All of these small stack meats I can go ahead and sell. And veggies too. Components. Whoa, that's a lot of components that they came strapped with. That's pretty cool. I thought I sold all my dog leather. Suppose I didn't. Um, shredded pants. A not so good belt. Shredded shirt. Shredded toque. Okay. Good enough. We have a lot of excess components, which is good. Shem doesn't need and Shem can help construct instead. already hauled in most if not all of the stuff that was out there
we do have some Archo R and Archo I. So kinda gotta decide who goes for that. Noah I might put the other eye in, make him a really good shooter. Hell, I'll put the arm in him too. I didn't intend for them to become bionic beasts, but I know exactly what I'm going to be facing soon, and uh, don't want to be facing it ill-equipped. God, I hate when they come out here with no wood to build the bridge. Carry resources, man. Spacecraft landing on my head. Oh, come on, Noah. You're killing me. I have to micromanage the, the bejesus out of them, get them to do what I want them to do. Glad, I'm kind of glad these like bridges are super expensive, but it takes a lot of trips to supply bridge construction. One thing I really ought to do is let's create a new area. Call it No Farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint the farm here, very uh, roughly. I'll paint it all. And then manage the area, invert it, and our haulers, I'm going to do no farm restrictions so that they can't eat. I don't think the uh, husky was going to eat our crops, but if the thrombo eats um, devil strand, that's quite a big loss. And we'd like to avoid that. Not yet low on meat, per se, but we might want to think about getting some more meat. I think once these hops are done growing, I'll put rice back into the ground as well. Gonna wake Nama up to do the operation. He's already sleeping or waiting for the operation. going to be one hell of a shooter in a minute. Managed to get all the slag off the map. Still working on this bridge.
and alas, I'm almost out of time. She so you know the uh, the spiel, the stick, shtick, I should say. Um, if you have any feedback for me, or requests, or whatever, just want to chat, drop me a line. Uh, I will do my best to reply. Um, if you have any suggestions for future playthroughs, I'm all ears all the time. Um, even other games, doesn't really matter what it is. Just, uh, you know, doesn't hurt to have a suggestion. And uh, I want to thank you all for uh, being patient. It did take me a few days to get this one out. Uh, hopefully that won't happen again. It shouldn't. Um, and thank you all for watching. And I hope to catch you all next time. Adios, everybody. And, uh, yeah, good luck out there.